So I will talk about the dangerous heat, widespread of it across the western United States again. We had 56 record high temperatures across the western U.S. on Tuesday. A Needles, California, 121 for your high. Phoenix at 115 degrees, Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, Denver had record highs as well yesterday. We're going to redo it all over again today. 116 in Phoenix, near 100 in Denver, Los Angeles at 91. Take precautions because of the heat. Potentially dangerous and potentially life-threatening. Never leave kiddos or pets in your car unattended, even for minutes. Not okay. Now, I'll talk about the tropics for a second. Uh, uh, Bill is no longer a threat. In fact, it never was. But we're watching the Bay of Campeche with great interest. There's still a disorganized cluster of showers and thunderstorms in the far southern Gulf of Mexico at the moment. But still potential. Thursday or Friday have tropical depression activity developing is still going up. There is no current threat to the United States. Nothing's developed out there. This means that right now is the perfect time to be weather aware and have your hurricane preparedness plan in place. Heat advisories, excessive heat warnings, a lot of places in the central and western United States. Also elevated wildfire potential literally and figuratively on fire out west in the upper Midwest. While a cold front slams into that warm and muggy air mass. Cities like Sioux Falls, Minneapolis, Fargo, marginal risk of severe weather, meaning isolated severe storms are possible for you today. With that cold front, large hail, damaging winds, brief tornado, all possible.